I welcome you to Messiah Revelation Ministry. We are an end time ministry. The channel is dedicated to the Messiah. And what is the record or the witnessing about the Messiah? Uh, let's look at um, what the scripture says about the Messiah. Um, let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. The scripture says that there is only one God and there is only one mediator. There is only one God and Jesus Christ, our Messiah, is the mediator between God and human beings. And so whatever the New Age uh, theologians say, whatever the Muslims say, whatever Buddha says, Whatever uh, the atheists say, there's only one God and there is only one mediator. Uh, Jesus, who was born in Nazareth, is the only mediator between God and humanity, as stated in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Uh, there's another record of the Messiah. Uh, we can find it in John chapter 11 verse 25. Our Messiah is resurrection and life. He is resurrection and life. And John chapter 11 verse 25 says that he who believes in him, even if that person is dead, the person will arise. The Bible is the only document that records somebody who was dead, being risen from death. The story of Lazarus is recorded in the Bible, is not recorded anywhere in any book, not in the Quran, not in uh, any publication, not in the Guinness books of records. So John chapter 11 verse 25, Jesus is the resurrection and life, he who believes in him, even if the person is dead, the person will arise. And so, if you go to Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, it says, Behold, those who are dead in who are dead in Christ, their works will follow them. Uh, in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 13, the scripture says that those who are dead in Christ, they are those who are dead. And there are those who are dead in Christ. If you die and you did not die in Christ, you have died in vain. So as long as you are a believer, regardless of what you are going through, uh, whether you are going through tribulation, whether you are going through persecution, uh, whether you are going through any trouble, if you die and you die in Christ, you have a resurrection because Jesus is the resurrection and he is also the life. And if you look at John chapter 14 verse 9, there's another record of him. Uh, one of the disciples asked Jesus, oh, show us your father. The disciple was asking the Lord to show him his father. And the Lord replied, if you see me, you have seen the father. That is John chapter 14, verse 9. If you see Jesus Christ, you have seen the Father. And Jesus was showing, laying the groundwork. He was giving the revelation that he has a deity. And he said, I and the Father are one. If you have seen Jesus Christ, you have seen the Father. And it's not a blasphemy because our Lord and Savior, is the only person with such an immaculate and impeccable spiritual discernment and spiritual knowledge that even at the age of 12, if you read the Bible, uh, he had so much spiritual knowledge inside, uh, of the Bible that he was teaching the scholars and the scribes uh, of the time. Uh, there's no person who is as wise as our Lord and Savior uh, he's, uh, uh, he, he, he's wiser than Solomon and before Abraham he was. So John chapter 14 verse 9 says that 
if you have seen Jesus Christ, you have seen the Father, you have seen uh, the creator of this world. And because there's only one God and there's only one mediator, and if you have seen Jesus Christ, you have seen the Lord. Another the another record of him is found in Hebrews 9:24. And this record, this witness, this scripture is about the priesthood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hebrews 9:24 says that Christ is in the holy place not made with hands. He is a priest of the order of Melchizedek and his priesthood is divine. Uh, he's not in the holy place, he's not in a place, a temple, a tabernacle built with hands. He is the priest in the temple of heaven and he's in a place where it was not the hand of man that was built. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 24. He is the priest uh, after the order of Melchizedek and he is greater than him. He is greater than angels. He is greater than any prophet who was born because he is the son of man, spoken of in the scriptures. And the next record, you will find it in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, when uh, Apostle John saw our Messiah, he said, I hold the keys of Hades and death. He holds the keys of David. And it's interesting that Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 is talking about the keys. Uh, it's, it's using the imagery as uh, you can also find in Isaiah chapter 22 uh, verses 15 and uh, reading from 15 and going down where the Lord told the prophet Isaiah to go and tell Sebna that Sebna's position will be taken away from him and it will be given to Elijah Kim. And the prophet Isaiah was told to tell Sebna that his position will be given to Elijah Kim, and Elijah Kim will be given the keys to the throne of David. And when he opens, nobody can shut. And when he shuts, nobody can open. So if you go to the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 18, our Lord and Savior is saying that he holds the keys of Hades and hell. If he opens, nobody can shut, and if he shuts, nobody can open. So this is the record of our Messiah who is coming, and I don't know whether we call him Jesus Christ, I don't know whether you call him Yeshua, but you have to remember that Apostle John saw him with a name that nobody knows. Our Lord and Savior has a name nobody knows, and on the day that we are taken before the presence of the Lord, we'll be able to know his name. He has a name that nobody knows. You have to worship our Lord and Savior in the spirit and in truth. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you call him Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter whether you call him Yeshua. What matters most is that you must know that there's only one God and only one mediator, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the resurrection and life. And he who believes in him, even if the person is dead, the person will be alive. And if you see Jesus, you've seen the Father. He has the priesthood that is higher than that of Melchizedek. And he, he is worshipped as the book of Revelation tells us, and is also going to be part of judgment. John chapter 5 verse 22 says that the Lord has given judgment to Jesus Christ. Judgment has been given to him. And Revelation chapter 7 is very specific in saying that 
Salvation belongs to God and the Lamb of God. Salvation belongs to God and the Lamb of God. Salvation belongs to Jesus Christ. This is the record and this is the testimony and this is the witness. This day is the day for you to believe in the scriptures and to know that Jesus is the key to salvation. He holds the key of David. If he opens, nobody can shut. And if he shuts, nobody can open. This is the record of the Messiah. This is Messiah Revelation Ministry. Thank you for this message.